trying to give. There's nothing that people on YouTube like more than top five videos. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about five pieces of gear that I got in 2018 that I like. So the first thing is these Zero Prios. I did a review on them last November. Um, but, and one of the things that I said was, if I get a shoe for trail running or hiking, I wanna be able to wear it to sort of nicer thing. Like if I go to church or if I go to an event, but if it stands out with like a really bright color, I wouldn't necessarily wear that. And uh, people were like, you're an idiot. People don't wear trail shoes to church. And I was like, I want to. So they made them. <laughs> and <laughs> they made me an all black Prio. These shoes are super comfortable, super light, and they're minimal enough that they're really comfortable, but not so minimal that they're really painful, if that makes sense. They have uh, zero drop, so like the heel is the same height off the ground as the toe. I lace them up so that they're like a slip-on. I just tied a square knot. And yeah, these have been my go-to shoes for work, for fun, uh, for anything that doesn't involve too much grip. They're not like super grippy. If you're looking for low top minimal shoes, these are great. So something that I've been looking for for a long time is a pair of pants one that fit me because I'm like really small, but that look really nice. So like you, you don't look like, <laughs> and I think I found them this year. They're like, a, they're a mix between cotton, uh, spandex, and what's the other one? Acrylic? I can like barely read the tag anymore. So they look like jeans, but they're, they fit more like leggings but they're more durable. Um, I got this pair for $8 at Goodwill. When I worked in a metal shop, I wore them for a few months and then I hiked in them for a few months and like the crotch is blown out. Um, but for $8, they lasted a few months. And then I got these pair, this pair. I had to pay more for them. They were like $27. Like jeans are known to be bad for being outdoors, but I don't think it has to be that way. Okay, so the next thing, I started climbing a lot this year especially since I moved to Utah. Earlier in the year, when I went on that road trip, I bought climbing shoes because I knew that if I put a little bit of money into it, that's like what it takes for me to get invested in something. Um, so I bought a pair of Scarpa Origins and they were so much like, they felt like I was wearing wooden clogs. They were like very stiff and I got a lot of blisters because of it. And then recently I picked up a pair of Scarpa Instinct VSRs. They're a lot more aggressive. Um, if you can see, they're like more pointy, they're tighter. They've got like a slipper kind of fit. So it's got like this mesh with elastic around it. Buying these shoes made me so much more confident in a lot of problems where the footholds are really small. I never slip off with these. It's Maybe it's just because the rubber is softer. It's more like the shoes that I like. You can, it's, you can't, um, but so the next item is the camera that I'm filming on right now. So last year and the beginning of this year, I've been using the Panasonic G7. It's like a, I wanna say $400 camera by Panasonic and it's good, but it's, it's lacking in a lot of things. Then I picked up the GH5, which is basically its bigger brother. It has some features that like no other camera like it have. So a couple of the things that I like, it's 4K video looks so nice. It has the ability to do really high bit rates, which basically means it also has a stabilized sensor. It's really nice for if I'm trying to get handheld shots. It's also able to do something that's called 10 bit color. So basically you have a color palette and a lot of cameras capture it in 8 bit and that's something like 288 colors. So like that's how many colors it can see. And then also paired with this camera is this lens. This is what I use to get that like really cool shallow depth of field look that's like dreamy kind of. And this is a 50 millimeter equivalent Zongyi Speedmaster. This camera isn't really good. Once it starts to get dark, the image starts to just look really bad. So the lower you can get that number on your aperture, the more light it lets in. Being able to shoot, like this last year I shot a couple professional jobs, being able to shoot those with a, this camera, yeah, it's, it's cool. So the fifth item is something that I didn't get this year, so it shouldn't be on this list, but 
I got it for free in a hiker box and I've had it for two years now. It hasn't fallen apart and if I were to buy another one, they're so cheap and they're just so good. To me, I think it's hands down like the best base layer you can get. You can buy it between like $12 I think is like what it normally is, but you can get it on sale at the end of the season for like a buck each. Um, and that is, you guessed it. <laughs> I got all done. <laughs> this fleece shirt. Um, they, they sell them at Walmart. They're so cheap. They're so warm. This paired with like a shirt that's like kind of moisture wicking. And then paired with the jacket like the Mont Belthorn wrap is such a good fall or like spring backpacking or summer. Um, if you get cold, it's like such a good amount of warmth to have the three. And yeah, that's the list. But no top five video would be complete without a six side. <laughs> My overall favorite piece of gear from this last year is my my van, my Ford Transit Connect. Having a car that makes it so that I can make choices to put myself in a place that I enjoy, that's just, that's what gear is for. It's to make your life kind of easier, better, and to be able to go do the things that you want to do without holding you back. And that's what that car does. There's my uh, top five video. Um, leave your top five down in the in the bye.